Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome back to Outdoor Adventuring Gear. I've never camped much with cots, so I was really excited to get one for the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at Nature Hikes Ultralight Camping Cot. The Nature Hike Camping Cot supports 330 pounds, is made of aircraft grade 7075 aluminum alloy and 300D Oxford fabric, measures at 6 foot 3 by 26 inches and weighs only 4.8 pounds. Now what's included in the bag is the cot itself, two poles that are interlocked with shock cord. It also comes with five support legs, but I also brought something special today to try out with it because this product was made by the military to be used on cots. So I'm curious to see how this hooks up to this Nature Hike cot and you're gonna see it live with me when I first try it out. Comes in a very nice zip carry case with a handle on one side and the other side is a pocket. Very small, I don't think you could put much in there. Maybe it's just for, more for grabbing and it does have molly webbing on the side so you can attach this to the outside of your pack if you want to they do offer these in several colors uh i had put on that i wanted the black just because i can be messy and i was afraid if i got either even the army green or the khaki that in time i was just going to stain it all up this is what each of the section of legs look like i'm going to take these out one at a time and show you how they look and then i'll put the cot together these are the support legs you're going to get you're going to get five sets of these now with each set you're going to have this piece of velcro strap around and what that does is keep them together when they're inside the case very simple to put together basically they have shock each one of these has shock cord in it too you're going to open it up and it's going to lock that simple i want to show this up close there's the shock cord pulls together and the poles themselves are more <laughs> i don't know the exact word to say that is but they're not they're an oval with slight corners they are not perfectly round what that does is it keep these from twisting so if you had a perfectly round uh, pole here these supports would twist so if you don't have them lined up right let's say if you had this one caught you're going to see that it's not right straight from the get-go plus that probably saves a little bit of a rolling of the cot on uneven ground but you're going to have five sets of these i like the wide foot here for wherever you put your cot at and these clips here lock very well on the poles that will go through the cot sleeves. And one thing I'm happy about, I couldn't have picked a nicer spot <laughs> to do this review of this cot. I have been, I filmed here before, I loved it, but Parks and Recreation have been doing a great job at restoring this area. They tore down an old abandoned building, which is close by, and it gives a nice spot for people to come visit, get in the outdoors with a wide open sky. Just a beautiful area. And I'm sorry for any background noise you might hear. I have the mic on to try to eliminate that, but it's a popular little area, so you might hear people walking or talking in the distance. Heck, they might stop in a little bit and stare at me and, what the heck is that guy doing over there? So as I stated earlier, it comes with two aluminum poles with shock cord through them. I love that. It's a great idea. I'm sure many cot manufacturers do that, but there's no questioning how they line up and how they go together because there's a certain little trick on this cot sleeve and I can't wait to show it to you. And hopefully it keeps anyone else having some fumbles in the night or, I don't know, any little difficulty in putting together. It, when I first saw it, you'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. But let's look at these poles. It's as easy as just letting them go like any tent pole, guys. Each of the poles is beveled. See that? So when it inserts in the other one, you've got a smooth transition with no snagging or no catching on anything when you're taking the cot apart. We all have had those... Uh, those aluminum poles and those starter tents, man, they get snagged so bad in sleeves. Once you get them together, you're gonna to have two aluminum poles and each one measures six foot, three inches in length. Here's the cot itself. This is the part you lay on, you'll be able to tell that. And here's the underside, which is basically the shinier side. That's the best way I can tell you. Everything is stitched right now, excellently. The stitching is beautiful on this. I really like it. Beautifully done. There is no loose threads in this, not one. Each sleeve where your pole will go through, there are openings where the support legs are gonna clip. The interesting thing about this one, and I don't know if other cot manufacturers do this, I'm gonna show you is this. Here's the little flap. You're gonna pull it this way and insert that, that pole right there, that support pole. There you go, see, it's gonna go right through. And then it's nothing more than guiding each pole through each sleeve. I'll bring you back when I have that part done. When you come to the end of the sleeve, when you've hit the end on the other side of the pole, you're just going to push the rest of the way through, pull up on that tab. Oh, this is so hard to film. P 
push in on the pole and the sleeve will go around it just like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Show this one more time. This is the other pole. When you get to the end, push the pole through, pull over. That will lock the pole in the sleeve. Now to put the support legs on. Here is the little part that you will snap on. The first one is the easy one, okay? And you're gonna to have to do each leg individually. Totally get each leg on, on both poles. Otherwise, if you put one on, on each side, and then go to flip it over to do the other side, they will flip, they'll just flip right off. Once you get the first one on, go to the other side, just like this. Now, what you're gonna do is push down on this, and then pull up on the pole just a little bit. I'm gonna get over here, hopefully to block a little bit of that light. Okay, so what you're gonna do is push down, pull up. Once you get through that hole, it will snap right into place and it is rigid. Here we go again, one more time. The other side is inserted. Just push down, pull up goes right into place. And I wanted to show you guys how I put this together. I put the ends on first. This is how I do it. Clip, push it through, push down, push it through, push down. That easy. And the cot is all set up on the underside. You have these D rings that are stitched on through loops. I'm supposing those are for securing your sleeping pad down or your sleeping system, however you're gonna do it. They even give you instructions printed on the underside of the cot, just in case you forget how it goes together. But trust me guys, it's pretty simple, you'll get it. And as you can see, I'm 5'10", now this is me flat, and the poles are 6'3". I'll show you me laying on it, but see, I even I have a foot of room, so I would guess anywhere from 6'3 under, you're gonna be comfortable. Guys, if you're 6'3 and over, you're blessed. <laughs> and this might not be the cot for you. You might have to go taller unless you're okay with possibly having your feet hang off it. Here is the height from the ground and it is just six inches above the ground. Guys, I moved my mic because I don't want it to rustle and make the video sound awful. But here we go, laying on it. This is extremely comfortable. It gives you good support. There's barely any sag under my butt. Even on my side, like this, that is pretty supportive. If I wish I had a pillow here to show you how it could be, but it's really supportive. And I'm about 200 pounds, 200, 25, maybe 27 now because of holidays. But very comfortable, and I cannot wait to use this camping. A couple things I'll wrap up, but there is one thing I want you to be aware of. The cot offers a lot. I really like it. I like the structure. I like the simplicity of it. I like the way everything snaps and puts together. They have a good product, but you gotta be careful of one of their statements. This is not an ultra light cot. They said on the website, this cot weighs four pounds, eight ounces. They are true to that. On my scales, in the bag, it weighed four pounds, six ounces. But why put the ultra light on there? Nature Egg doesn't need to do that. This product speaks for itself. I think a lot of campers are gonna enjoy this. I'm going to put this to use very soon. Matter of fact, probably gonna put this to use on my next camp. I'm looking forward to this, so it takes the uncertainty out of certain areas I might camp. I actually might take this stealth camping too. Not sure yet, but I might. I wanted to see how this would work with the US military pop-up bivy, the ones I love. Matter of fact, I have two of them. But I wanna see how this fits on that. Now, this is nothing to do with Nature Hike. This is not part of their advertisement. They're not saying this will work with that, but I'm gonna see if it does right here live on camera. I'm so curious, let's see. All right, forgive the wind. Now, could I get this on this? Yeah. Guys, that'll work. That will work. Now, the wind's blowing it off. I don't have anything to weight it down. This is something extra I just wanted to try. But you could see lengthwise it would. And what I will probably do is do something like tie it off. But if I stretch these a little bit, you know, the little fiberglass pole, it goes right over. Yeah. And I would just, I would take a piece of string and tie this foot off and look at that. So yes, you can use your military bivy with this. 
It's not a perfect fit. It's not meant to be a perfect fit. Nature Hike didn't, they didn't build that camping cot for this. But I'm letting you guys know, because I'm seeing it now, it'll work. That works great, man. I'm happy about that. As always, guys, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys again real soon. Please put those comments in, guys. I like hanging out and talking and sharing ideas. It's a great community. Bye for now.